voice is Paging pretty Paging Movie Sonic. Paging Movie Sonic, you are up next. Wow, that was fast. Huh. Alright, um... I wonder who my therapist is. Oh! Oh! Oh, hello there! Huh. You uh, must be Movie Sonic. <laughs> um, yeah, I am. And you are? Well, my name is Rouge the Bat. I will be your therapist for today. Um, don't therapists look pretty different? Like, more uh, professional looking and not really... Uh... <laughs> Well, technically, I'm a substitute uh, therapist for today. This is technically my second job, but, appar but apparently all therapists are way different than what you imagine. So, anyways, uh, go ahead and uh, take a seat here. Let me see what's going on here with you. All right. Um, let me just go over here real quick. All right. There we go. All right. Let's take a look here. Here. Let's see. Okay, moose and trauma from... Oh! Alright then, so I've been looking over that you may have some sort of trauma or PTSD from a recent event. <laughs> yeah... Uh... I fell off a cliff. Hmm, how did you fall off a cliff? Um... Okay, so... Basically, um, this one person, like, was chasing me for a while, and then just did something so unexpected that I got so confused and dizzy, and then fell off a cliff. I don't remember their name, but they looked like a black version of me, but female. Black version of you, but... Does she ha have red stripes? Um, yeah, she had red stripes. Mm. From what it looks like, you're suffering from a typical case of Shadina. Oh, that was her name. Yeah, uh... <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah, her... Yeah, but you mind uh, at least telling me, um, how did you meet her or encounter her? So, it all started on a normal day. So, I was just about to, like, go to the store. I thought, like, hmm, what if I use one of my rings to travel there? So then I threw a ring, and then I go through it. It takes me to a random place in the sky... Then when I, when I get out of the ring, um, I get inside this green gem called the Master Emerald, and then I couldn't even breathe there for a while. I was about to suffocate, and she broke it open, and surprisingly, I wasn't shattered in the process. Mm-hmm. So it looks like the place that you landed in was Angel Islands. It's usually the place where the Master Emerald is kept. And... Oh, what other events have happened uh, after she got you out of the Master Emerald? So, then after that, she... Seemed like she had a lot of interest with me out of the bat. I don't know why, but... Yeah. And then she started chasing me around. Talking about how she... She loves my movie and such, and want to become friends, and much more really quickly. And I was like, okay, I did not give consent for you to, like, want to be a part of the movie and such. And then she just kept going farther, kept chasing me, and then she said how every Sonic, like, actually, um, kind of mistreated her, so then I was like, she just wanted a few friends, so why? how about I just be your friend? And then, like, I gave her a friendly hug, and then, yeah, she then kissed me, and then, 
I got so confused and dizzy and then fell off a cliff. Mm-hmm. Seems like a typical reaction whenever a Sonic gets kissed by Shadina. Wait, I'm not the only one? Well... Oh? Yes, yeah, so from what it looks like here, Shadina has a habit of... Whenever she sees a Sonic or anybody that remotely looks like a blue hedgehog, she will go and chase after. And apparently try to push her love onto them. So far, I know that modern Sonic is a victim of some sorts. Uh, classic Sonic, I believe, may have to deal with her. If not, then I pray he doesn't. I know that uh, Boom I Sonic, well, apparently... He... Wouldn't that... He's... He's really young, isn't he? And Shadina's like... 18 or something like that, so that's gonna be really well, weird. Well... It's gonna be weird altogether anyways, but she's, uh... <laughs> Uh, let's not go into that so far. Anyways, and then so far there is a Boom Sonic, however it seems more like he has Stockholm Syndrome because he actually returns her feelings. Oh! But, at any rate though, however, it seems like, however it seems like more like with that encounter there, it seemed like it may have messed you up a lot more if you became disoriented and fell off a cliff. So, my recommendation, movie Sonic, you need to start to learn how to defend yourself from fangirls. I don't really want to hurt anyone, though. Like, I don't want them to stop being fans, but I don't really want them to be absolutely crazy at the same time, so what do I do? How do I just balance this out well as a fellow lady here i tend to deal with a lot of guys that like to chase me around when i say no but there is a cure for that and that could be able to work with guys too what you need to do is pretty much with the whole um <clears throat> uh pandemic that had happened use the six foot rule to your advantage just simply keep six feet apart, and if she tries to get any closer, just shout six foot rule. Then you tell her, tell her with confidence, tell her, look, Shadina, I am not interested in you. I am not looking for a girlfriend. You need to stop and leave me alone. And if she tries to feign sadness, try not to feel bad for her, because it could be one of two things. Either one, she pretty much is trying to make you lower your guard down, or two, she's planning some. I think. So, wait, and question. Then, How do you know that mm -hmm. so well from Shedina? <sighs> Truth be told, I ran into that woman several times. And let's just say she's actually a gender bent version of somebody by the name of shadow the hedgehog now shadow or at least the shadow in my universe has an odd obsession with me he he is what a lot of us call a simp pretty much a guy that likes to lust over over either a bunch of girls or one girl altogether despite the fact that she says no Oh, that's but the as... Simpog Mighty mentioned. Mm-hmm. And Shadina, even though, yes, yeah, she does have a thing for Sonics. However, she also seems to be having her eyes on me, all because I'm me. And she technically, like I said, the gender-bent version of the Shadow in my universe. So, pretty much... Pretty much the only difference, though, between those two is that, at least with Shadow, he backs off when he knows that he can't win. Oh, except this one doesn't have that filter? Well, she does not have that filter whatsoever, sadly. No matter how many times. And we even keep trying to tell Boom Sonic to put a tight leash on her. Oh, boy. This might be harder to deal with. Yep, but again, like I said, you just need to try to build your confidence up. Just remember, yeah, you may be a 
Yeah, you may be a Hollywood star, but at the same time, you have your boundaries. You need to remind her those are your boundaries. You tell her that you are your own person and you have a right to say no. You know what? Yeah! Shanita's not gonna touch this. I'll, I'll end her now. Um, simpiness over all hedgehogs. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, I'm sorry, but apparently my apparently I'm being call, called right now, so just stay right here and I will be right back. Alrighty. Well, you do what you gotta do. Mm hmm. Hmm. But how do I deal with so, okay, do I just stay away from her for the rest of my life and stay in hiding? Or do I just end her once and for all? What do I do? Uh, oh god, she's gone! What? Fine. Here. It's okay. I've been looking all over for you. Uh, apparently, I heard about what after you fell off into the cliff there, and I wanted to make sure that you're all right. Oh, there you are. Uh... <laughs> now, here, let me. Oh, oh, you're not injured, are you? I can always give you a kiss to make you feel better. No, that's the same thing that injured me the last time. Oh. Sonic! Well, you can't even get injured in a therapist's office. You'd be surprised. Uh, please. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. Sonic. Sonic. Oh, come here. Sonic. Oh! <laughs> the Will movie Sonic. Ever leave the grasp of Shadina? Find out in the next episode of Hogger Ball Z.